Hey there folks, the number one Emdel Mokhtar fan from the Infinite Jukebox here with another album review and today I wanted to talk about the new Emdel Mokhtar record, Funeral for Justice. Nigerian musician Emdel Mokhtar has kind of put the country of Niger on the musical map for a lot of alternative and music nerd audiences. I mean, obviously, the entire country of Niger has been putting out great music for uh, forever, basically, just like any other country in the world. But at the same time, the very fresh and re-energized kind of take on guitar-based rock music that he's provided over the course of his past few albums has been so nice to hear. It feels so extremely inspired, it feels so distinct, it feels so empowering at times, it's just excellent stuff consistently, and only part of me is saying that because the best guitar-based rock music that at least the United States has gotten in recent years in the mainstream has been Greta Van Fleet. That's only a small part of it, a much larger part of it is because M. Del Mokhtar just makes great music. Funeral for Justice, the latest studio album put out under the Emdal Mokhtar name, is a record that treks forward with the same sound, pretty much, but at the same time manages to kind of carry the same effectiveness that it's constantly had over the course of the past few years. I feel like any other artist, any other band, really, that would be repeating the sound right now, it would get old quickly, but for some reason or another, it just constantly feels like a breath of fresh air every single time that we get a new Emdal Mokhtar record. Much of Funeral for Justice is centered around the guitar work, as have his previous albums almost entirely been based around that, with vocals more so just kind of being very nice embellishments that go along with the guitar work and the instrumentation, but it adds up to so much more than just an impressive instrumental outing at the end of the day, because the distinct guitar tone of Emdel Mokhtar's entire sound and style is warm and all-encompassing in a way that feels comfortably atmospheric, yet at various points in this record, he manages to demonstrate the kind of Hendrix-esque discipline shredding that he is rightfully so often compared to. I genuinely think that if you exclusively want to talk about guitar work, he's one of the most impressive out there right now, at the very least one of the most raw and unfiltered, which is something that I love about pretty much any guitarist. And even then, if that's not really your speed per se, I still think that there are a number of nice change-ups here to kind of act as moments of laid-back, pleasant bliss almost. For example, the track Tacoba, which has this sort of jaunty blues riffing going on that never gets too intense or anything like that, and intentionally so. It acts as a nice break in between the action, so to speak, a moment where the guitar work here still manages to shine, but in a different context that adds variety in the context of the record without ever really sacrificing the momentum or the overall tone of the record itself. And that isn't to mention how some of the slightly psychedelic-leaning passages also manage to have a very modern flair to them to ensure that this record feels totally mo rooted in the modern day, rather than feeling like a, a tribute to sounds that have completely since come to pass in terms of mainstream relevance. I think that's perhaps most notably seen in the way that the vocals join together for this very mesmerizing moment at the end of the album closing track, Modern Slaves, as those vocals end up closing things out very nicely in this way that I, again, can really only describe as uh, somewhat hypnotic in a way. And hey, a valid criticism could be made that Funeral for Justice doesn't sound that different from previous Emdel Mokhtar records, and that's valid because it it doesn't. I, I am an individual who has listened to multiple M. Del Mokhtar records at this point. They sound remarkably similar, generally speaking, but it's kind of hard to complain about a sound being consistent across multiple albums when said sound has never really gotten old and feels just as actively impassioned and engaging multiple albums into that sound as it does here on Funeral for Justice. I would absolutely criticize it for that complete and total repetition if it felt like he was slowly getting less and less into it with each passing record, each album feeling less fiery than the one that came before it, but honestly, this is just that just isn't the case. This is an album that feels just as energized as anything that he's put out within the last five years has, and that is 
not only impressive, but it also makes it really hard for me to complain that there's a lack of variety here. I mean, do I wish he would branch out a little bit at least? Sure, maybe a track or two here to kind of show off his own artistic development, pick up some new influences maybe, kind of demonstrate his guitar-based abilities in a different context sonically. But then again, at the same time, I don't think he really wants to take away from a winning formula. And I, I mean, it's hard to complain about that because it really is a great one. So yeah, if you've heard an Emdo Mokhtar record and you liked it, but you said to yourself, man, I really hope his next one sounds completely different, total 180, then I would just say go re-listen to the one that you've heard because this one is probably pretty, pretty similar to that one. But it still does manage to feel like another worthy addition to an already consistent catalog of releases with one of the most exciting sounds and guitar tones in the entirety of the music industry right now. Do I think this record is brilliant? No. Do I think it's a magnum opus? Not at all. I think that is yet to come from M. Del Mokhtar, but at the same time, do I think that this is a genuinely really good record that you should check out if you do like the more raw side of rock music that does have its leanings primarily in instrumentation above all else? Yeah. Absolutely, there is some great classic blues rock heavy psych kind of stuff going on here, and if that's your vibe, which it is something that I personally do click with quite a bit, then absolutely go for this one. I'm going to give this record 3.5 stars out of 5. And with that being said, that is the end of this quick album review. Thank you for watching The Infinite Jukebox, and I'll see you in the next one.